Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And I'm getting sick and tired of you precious little snowflakes sitting there and crying. You think you have a reason to cry because Donald Trump won the presidency? A businessman won the presidency. And you're sitting there crying and going to your crying rooms, bawling your eyes out. Well, get ready. Uh, I'm going to give you a real reason to cry. I'm going to tell you about some uh, people who had every right to cry. Now, you're about to hear about something that 90% of the schools in this country don't teach anymore, in all likelihood. And so let's get started. I don't want to waste time here. Have any of you uh, precious little snowflakes even heard of Pearl Harbor? It's this uh, place in Hawaii. You see, 75 years ago today, Pearl Harbor was attacked by a carrier force from the island nation of Japan. You see, Japan had been aggressively attacking China, so we put sanctions on them, and they launched this uh, preemptive strike on our fleet at Pearl Harbor. Like I said, 90% of you snowflakes have probably never even heard of it. So, let's take a look. This is on the History Channel. They do a, good, they do a tremendous job with things like this. Attack on Pearl Harbor, the 7th, 1941, Japan launches a surprise attack on American soil at Pearl Harbor. Hawaii was a territory back then. It wasn't a state yet. Just before 8 a.m. on December 7, 27, December 7th, 1941, hundreds of Japanese fighter planes attacked the American naval base at Pearl Harbor, near Honolulu, Japan. The barrage lasted just two hours, but it was devastating. The Japanese managed to destroy 20 American naval vessels, including eight enormous battleships and more than 300 airplanes. More than 2,000 American soldiers and sailors died in the attack, and another 1,000 were wounded. The day after the assault, Pre President Franklin Delano Roosevelt asked Congress to declare war on Japan. These people had a real reason to cry. You don't. I'm sorry, Donald Trump is not the enemy. These were people's sons, fathers, brothers, and probably a few daughters and such too. Our fleet was slaughtered viciously by the Japanese. Now, Japan's a different nation today. They're more business-oriented than anything else. That was their war. I wasn't there. No one believed that Japanese would start a war with an attack on American territory, for one thing, it would be terribly inconvenient. Hawaii and Japan were about 4,000 miles apart. For another, American intelligence officials were confident that any Japanese attack would take place in one of the relatively nearby European colonies in the South Pacific, Dutch East Indies, for instance, or Singapore or Indochina. Now, there was somebody, I think it was Colonel Billy Mitchell, uh, Father of the Modern Air Force who predicted this. The Japanese plan was simple. Destroy the American fleet. That way the Americans would not be able to fight back as Japan's armed forces spread across the South Pacific. On December 7th, after months of planning and practice, the Japanese launched their attack. At about 8 a.m., Japanese planes filled the sky over Pearl Harbor. 
bombs and bullets rain down on vessels moored below. An 810, an 1800-pound bomb smashed through the deck of Battleship Arizona and landed her in, in her forward ammunition magazine. Ship exploded and sank with more than 1,000 men trapped inside. Next, torpedoes pierced the shell of the battleship USS Oklahoma. With 400 sailors aboard, Oklahoma lost her balance, rolled on her side, and slipped underwater. By the time every, the attack was over, every battleship in Pearl Harbor, Arizona, Oklahoma, California, West Virginia, Utah, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee, and USS Nevada had sustained, sustained substantial damage. All but the USS Arizona and USS Utah were eventually salvaged and repaired. You crying yet? Well, what does this have to do with us? Well, I'm going to get to that. I'm sick of this. Here's a story about the USS West Virginia. You see, that ship had been sunk. It was underwater. But they heard banging noises coming from inside the West Virginia. What was it? It was sailors. They were dying. They held on for 16 days in conditions we can't imagine before they finally ran out of air and died. You think you got problems worrying about your goddamn uh, cell phones? I got news for you. Try to put yourself in their shoes. This was a real enemy. Donald Trump is not the enemy. They sluttered. They slaughtered our people when we went to help the ships. They fired on the boat, the rescue boats. You want more? Let's take a look at some pictures. Now, I don't have any documentation for what I'm about to say. But I know it's true because I've studied the history. Uh, those people had to do without a lot of things. After the war started, we declared war with only one dissenting vote. People had had to uh, do without a great many things. Mainly uh, metal, I think metal and rubber. Because everything was going to, toward the war effort. Women turned into their metal hair combs! People gave up their uh, precious silver. They did everything they could. You know, small plates are sitting there whining while hearing Donald Trump for president. What the hell have you done? The answer is they haven't done shit. Right here, we're seeing a Japanese plane heading towards one of our ships. I don't know whether that's a Real photo or drawing? I think it's a real photo. It looks like it. And you're sitting there crying. You're worried about your cell phones. You're worried that Donald Trump might not be exactly what you want and censor the speech that you want him to censor. You ain't done any suffering at all. Look at that. Those people were slaughtered that day. Now, I doubt our schools uh, have taught very much about this. Like I said, probably very few of you precious little snowflakes have heard about it. Us older people have. We know what happened. This is why I would ask you older folks, you know some of these millennial snowflakes, show this video to them. Take it and copy it. 
I don't care if you copy it. I am not copywriting anything. Take it, copy it, display it, show the precious little snowflakes. Put it on your channel if you want to. I do not care. Let's take away another picture. Now, the aftermath is, I got a picture here someplace of the Arizona Memorial. Should be here on the History Channel. Yeah, here's a small picture. Uh, the Arizona is still under pearl, underwater there. There's this uh, floating memorial to her. I've been to it. I reached down and touched, you know, on top of the mast. They were slaughtered viciously. People gave up all sorts of things to help with the war effort. Our fleet struggled. We did not win a battle with the Japanese until June 4th, 1942. Some would argue the Battle of Coral Sea a month earlier. Most historians call that a draw. When we sucker the bastards, they tried to sucker us, but we suckered them, ambushed our carriers, and blasted them out of the sea. That was another time and another place. More pictures. USS Virginia and USS Tennessee burn on December 7th, 1941. That's a Japanese plane after having attacked. They machine gun people on the ground. This has, this must never happen again. But all you precious little snowflakes can think about. Oh, no, Trump, he's such a horrible man. You don't know the meaning of horror. You want to talk about horror? Okay? You know, when we were, uh, I went hopping after these bastards. We would bomb the snot out of the island, and they would be hung up in caves. We had to go in, use flamethrowers to drive them out of the caves, and then machine gun them as they came out screaming. It was the only way to stop them. They would not give up. And if we hadn't nuked them, if we had not nuked the Japanese, we'd still be fighting over there. I have little love of nuclear weapons, but they did prove effective. I think they would be effective on ISIS, too. Well, that's just me. Well, if, you aren't, if you're a precious little snowflake and you're just learning about this and you aren't crying yet, there's no hope for you. You got a heart of stone! Look at this. Look at what the bastards did. You sons of bitches. You are such narcissists. You had no idea. You have no idea what people went through. 
giving up women had to go in the factories to work. They were scared. They had reason to be scared. First there was grief, then it turned to anger. Because this country realized that they could not stand for this and that the nation of Japan had to be defeated at all costs. You want to know about suffering? Well, snowflakes, uh, I suggest you Google the term Guadalcanal campaign. You want to know about suffering, little snowflakes, I suggest you watch a movie called Mission of the Shark. It's about the sinking of the cruiser in Annapolis which had been torpedoed by a Japanese submarine after it delivered the atomic bomb to be dropped on Japan. And those sailors were alone in the waters with the sharks, and the sharks ate them. Well, you sit there and you cry in your crying rooms. <laughs> sorry, I don't feel sorry for you. Donald Trump is not the enemy. He's a businessman. He's imperfect. And I'm watching him closely and make sure he does what he's supposed to do. Free us up. But he is not the enemy. I hope I made a few of you cry your eyes out because you deserve it. I gave you a real reason to cry. You didn't cry for this. And you have something wrong with you. All right? Those people suffered. They gave everything in order to defeat this enemy, and the Germans too, of course. You want to talk about D-Day and all the people we lost in being Normandy? <coughs> The strength of Germans, you want to talk about that? You people, you uh, precious little snowflakes, your history's been neglected. It's not all your fault. Our schools are horrible. They're run by leftists who don't care about the truth. I better go now. I'm showing myself horse. I hope the message has gotten through to you. You haven't done shit. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.